In our last episode, we finally made it to our final destination, Andy's parents' house in British Columbia. Now, that doesn't mean that our exploring came to an end. There was lots of fun adventures we wanted to do in Vancouver and in BC. So in this video, join us as we do some exploring up in the Squamish and Whistler area. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning! All right, we are going out on an adventure today. Andy's gonna let you know where we're going. I don't know where I'm going. My brother planned the whole day, but our destination is Whistler, BC. Let's go! There's a feeling For the last hour, we were driving along the Sea to Sky Highway. Andy was driving us. We just made a pit stop in Squamish at the McDonald's to get a little bit of food, and now we're heading to Alta Lake uh, to do a little hike that's gonna take us to a waterfall. And this is only the beginning of our day, so <laughs> we're pretty excited. Of course, we're in the rain and also in Pemberton. <laughs> All right, so our stop, our hiking stop didn't pan out because the road was closed and the trail was closed, but that's okay. We left Whistler, we've come to Pemberton, and we are here. We are here pulled over on the side of the road to get some food at a really good food truck. Yeah, so this is uh, one of my brother's Recommendations is right by the visitor center in Pemberton. With, <laughs> I didn't realize there was a tree here, which is uh, just north of Whistler, and it's called the Lynx Cafe. Apparently, they have some really yummy bison burgers. So, well, I haven't try. tried it yet. So let's go. Oh wait, let's not get hit by a car now. Been there, not too much fun. Okay, so there are two recommendations that my brother gave. It is not the fish and chips that I usually get, but either the lynx burger or the bison burger. Personally, since I haven't had a bison burger in a while, I'm gonna give that a try. And oh, Tia's points out herself, so also her. Hi, can I get uh, two lynx burgers and two bison burgers, please? Yep. No, I think that's it. Oh, I see. I thought that were both bison. They, they're here. So this is a bison burger, and this is a lynx burger, and they look like burgers. They're pretty stuffed to the brim. This is the bison burger. And okay, screw it. I'm just gonna take a bite. And everyone else will have to eat, have to deal with it. Okay. So it's got. Some your your pretty basic ingredients, but it smells really fresh. So Okay, we just came a short drive down the street from the city center of Pemberton and we are here at Miller Farms because they have a farm brewery and you know we both love beer. Yeah, so this is officially the second stop with multiple little stops in between. It opens at noon and apparently there's a bunch of beers to uh, choose from that I'm not gonna get to drink. I get to drink this time, yes! <laughs> So yeah, come check them out. Uh, it's really a short drive, beautiful drive, right in between the two mountains. Can't wait to try some beer. All right, let's go try it. Special guest on the vlog today, Smokey. 
Hey guys, <laughs> my name's Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my name's Lint. I'm here to show you the beer farmers. Pretty cool place. Hi, hi, buddy. So cute. Okay, Fleming, tell us how this works. So you go into the microbrewery. They do a little tour, and then we step out, go to the one to the left, and order a flight. And you gotta find the one that's purple and like relatively translucent color. Purple beer. Yes, and it's really good. <laughs> okay, the brewery's officially open. We're going in to check it out. Let's go. So they have beer brewing on one side and then beer drinking on the other. So here's a quick lesson on how the brewing works. First, they put stuff into those vats. Then some magic happens. And then you drink. <laughs> That's all I know about brewing. Yeah. From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop number three. We are at a distillery. Filming, no, what is it called? Brewery. We're at a brewery. We're here to burn 30 minutes. Hey guys. We're here to burn 30 minutes before we can go to the distillery. You just, I don't think they can taste it. So, really, this there. is turning into an alcohol tour. <laughs> so, let's go. All right, we are trying another flight at this brewery here. We have four different things to try. We've got a Rattler. This is called Cream Puff, it's a pale ale. This is an IPA, and this is a blueberry sour. All right, give it a shot. Right. One of them. We're gonna try it out. Oh, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Delicious. All right, so the Pemberton Distillery now, which is right across the street from the, the, the Pemberton Brewery. No idea what this is. Here I they make vodka, we think. Something with potatoes. <laughs> She's just guessing. Yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, it's right across the street, so we're gonna come here and take a look, and then uh, we're probably just gonna get a little something to go, because no one can have any more alcohol. We're in Whistler Village! Yes, so along the sky, see the Sky Highway, obviously there's Whistler Village and it's a must stop for everyone. Uh, there's an archaic store that we really like and also washrooms and also food, so come check it out. 
free uh, free parking after five, so that's a bit of a pro tip there. So we're heading out of Whistler right now. It's about almost six o'clock and we've been on the road for maybe 15 minutes. And this is the traffic waiting to get into Whistler on a Friday night. So if you're wanting to visit Whistler, maybe try during the day and not on a weekend. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Honey, let's just be easy. On your way back, it's always great to stop at Sunny's for some fried chicken. They have some, some awesome stuff that you do not want to miss and they are right on your way home. Either that or you can stop at Phnom Penh. It's in Chinatown, in Vancouver. Take your pick or go to both. We got fried chicken. We have burritos. We have fancy french fries and more fried chicken. What are you trying? The Chicken with sauce. Hotter than hell or whatever sauce. Death ray. Death ray. Yeah. It's happening ever since. That is insanely moist. It's not that it's not that spicy though. Yeah. It's good. All right, we didn't vlog before we got here, but we just came to Sunny Chivas, which is a Mexican cantina, and that is where all that food is from. Oh, well, Andy already got it covered, so. <laughs> Don't need to hear it from me again. <laughs> all right, that wraps up our day. We're heading home. Yep. All right, Tia and Andy, out.